Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. So you guys might be wondering why am I posting a sneaker video because this channel used to be a sneaker channel and then I turned it into like an entrepreneurship channel. So this actually has to do with a little bit of both. So as you guys saw by the thumbnail of this video or the title of the video, you guys saw that I paid $3,000 for this sneaker right here. This sneaker only goes for $1,000 on average in resale, and retail was $175. So I didn't in particular pay $3,000 just for one sneaker. I actually picked up three pairs of this sneaker, and they each cost me almost around $1,000. So let me show you guys that I bought three pairs. So here's the shoe that I'm using. It's a size eight. This is a size 10, and then I got a size 11. So let me show you guys the exact prices that I paid for them before you guys start going crazy. And why would you pay so much money? I'm gonna explain to you guys why I paid so much money for them. So starting off with the size eight that I have out, I paid $951 for this sneaker. I actually paid a little more because I had to pay shipping, which ended up being $964 with 95 cents. And in case you guys don't believe me, I'm gonna post a screenshot right over here for the size 10, which is the next size I got, I paid 901 and here's that screenshot. And then for the size 11, I paid $824. So I ended up paying $2,690 with 90 cents for this sneaker right here. So you guys might be wondering, why did I buy three pairs? What's the point of having three pairs? You only need one to wear if anything. I got them because they are an investment. So whoa, you guys might be like, how are sneakers an investment? Usually they're an investment if you buy them at retail and you resell them. How are they an investment after you paid so much for them? So let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This sneaker, the size eight, I paid 964, right? Let's say $965. If we go to the listing for that sneaker right now, I can sell it for 1195 because that means people are willing to buy it. Well, you guys can't really see it exactly, but I can sell it for $1,195. So basically $1,200 right now. I paid 964, so or 965. So I, if I subtract the 1200 minus 965, I've already made $235 off the sneaker and I just bought it like a week ago or a week or two ago. I don't remember exactly. It wasn't that long ago. Like it was just around the release date. And that's in two weeks for doing what? Just going online and buying the sneaker. That's pretty good. And I have three pairs. The other two pairs aren't as good, but they still have value in them. Even if I sell it on their website, I still make profit, which I can sell for $1,165. I mean, you guys can't really see everything, but I'll show you guys towards the end. If I hit sell now, I can sell it for $1,000. $25. So $1,025 minus the $965. I made $60 in two weeks. I mean, that's not bad, but these sneakers are going to go up in value more than that. So I can either sell it privately and make my $200 something dollars right now, or I can wait until the prices skyrocket, which I know the sneakers value is going to go up. Again, potentially go up to $2,000 within a year. That's just my estimations. It can be less, it can be more, but either way, I would still be profiting off of it. And you guys can even see these prices live if you guys download the app. StockX, I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm pretty much just showing you guys. So I bought the size 10 for 901. If we go ahead and go to the size 10, I can sell for 980 in person, which will make me 70 bucks or 80 bucks, whatever, 79 bucks, whatever the exact amount is. Or I can go ahead and sell it right now, which is not gonna make me any money. I'm actually gonna lose around 50 bucks if I sell it on their website. But these sneakers, like I said, they're gonna go up and I will be able to sell it on their website, which I mean, I could if I'm lazy or I can just go ahead and find a buyer somewhere on eBay or something like that. And last one, let me show you guys the size 11. I bought that one at 824. So if I wanna sell that right now, I'm gonna lose money to be honest with you guys. I'm losing money right now, but it's gonna go up. It's like a stock, that's why it's called Stock X. Stocks go up and down. I mean, this sneaker still brand new, just came out. So it's not on fire just yet. I mean, I'd be losing almost 80 bucks. It goes down to 746 if I sell it right now, but I can still sell it in person and make 40 bucks off of it selling it at 869. So either way I'm making, I already made my money back. Even if I want to sell it retail, like if I'm like, oh, I really just need the money. Boom. I sell out what I bought it for. People are going to buy it. So do I recommend you guys to do this? My answer is yes and no. I would recommend it to do this if you have, first of all, the money to do this. First of all, it's expensive. Nobody has $3,000 laying around just to buy all these sneakers. Not everybody. I'm not saying nobody, but not everybody. Some people do. And if you do, if you have money to just throw away, let's say these sneakers actually go down in value, get ready for that. Cause that's how stocks are. That's kind of how the stock market is. That's kind of how sneakers are. You can't exactly predict what's going to happen to the value of them. So my reasoning for saying yes is if you have a sneaker knowledge, if you don't, then I do not recommend getting into this. It's just like a stock market. It's like putting your money into somewhere you don't know what the hell's gonna happen. You're basically asking to lose that money. Now just dropping some knowledge on you guys on this sneaker in particular, this sneaker's value is actually going to go up. And the reason for that being is because it is a Jordan 1 
having the sneaker knowledge that I know, Jordan 1s always go up in value. This is a sneaker that actually holds their value the most. Not only that, but this is a Travis Scott collab, which means that it's going to hold their value because if you look at all the other Travis Scott shoes that have sold or have dropped, their value has actually gone up or stayed the same. For the most part, they have increased in value, and therefore Jordan 1 with Travis Scott, that's a given that the value of the sneaker is going to go up. My estimated value that it's going to go up to is about 1500 to 2000 2000 in a year, 1500 in six months, or maybe 2000 in two years. Who knows? Either way, this sneaker is going to go up, and it's literally just putting my money into something that's going to make me money later on. And it's something I definitely recommend you guys to do if you guys have the knowledge and have the money. If you guys don't have the money or the sneaker knowledge, I definitely recommend you guys stay away. You can always get into the market by learning your knowledge. You can go ahead and get into reselling, which is a business within its own entrepreneurship ideas. You, you can do it so many ways. But like I said, I only recommend you guys to do this if you guys have the knowledge and the money. That being said, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications if you guys want to stay updated to videos like this where I drop knowledge on you guys as far as like businesses go because this is literally a business within its own. It's basically investing in sneakers though, not in the stock market. Go out and make that money. There's so many ways. There's so many possibilities. And there's literally no limit but yourself. And what I did to get the, the money to buy the sneaker, I worked my ass off. You literally got to work hard, get that money. Because if you guys don't make sacrifices, you're not going to be able to make that money to do the things you want to do. And what I like to do basically is just reinvest my money. Like I don't like my money sitting in a bank account because I feel like that's a waste. It's literally just sitting there and losing its value because inflation. So might as well make more money out of it. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Make sure you guys keep grinding. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.